Mother's Flower, an interpretation of Metallic Goddess by Jeffrey Coons. I hold you. You are always with me. I keep you warm, safe, sound. You can hear me as I speak. You can feel me when I weep. I carry life itself. I've cried for you time and time again. You've screamed at me, although your seed is inside me. My body aches from your doing. It grows, expanding from my womb. If only I knew creating a life would entomb me. A flower gently brushed against a mother's pot, yet all I see is a path to rot. I take on the world while you carry nothing. My chest swells, constricts like a balloon trapped in a cage. A heartbeat as gentle as a whisper echoes my strife. Trois Demoiselles, an interpretation of From an Historical Antidote About Fashion by Josiah McElhenney. Maiden walking seductively, and the suspense is killing me. Damnation is coming down slowly, and I do not care. Mistress, why do you still tempt me? Idea Cycle, an interpretation of Big Bling by Martin Prier. Ideas start as a small thing. It floats, latches onto the mind. As time passes and thought is spent on it, the idea grows. Thought turns to movement, a sketch, a drawing, a fully formed picture. As time passes and movement is shaped, the idea grows. The plans form a larger idea, shared between people, visualized and collaborated. As time passes and the group works, the idea grows. Materials bend to the will of the creator. Saws cut, steel bends, paint covers to breathe life. As time passes and the materials birth a physical form, the idea grows. The artist puts the final touch and the work is complete. The monument plants seeds in the minds of observers. As time passes, the minds come together and new ideas grow. Looking Eyes, an interpretation of faces by Barry McGee. Looking eyes can't see everything in this world, perusing upon everyone like pages in a book. They can't see who is who or the soul of man, natural thinkers, nor the struggles of civilians, anger, happiness, disgust, sadness, and joy. Glancing around with little discretion, with each expression a person makes, tells an entire story of their world in the past present and future. Keeping eyes are theirs to observe. Each is different, yet they are the same. Voyage, an interpretation of Inside Downside by Wolfgang Wade. Looking around, it is plain to the eye to see the rekindled flame in many that have begun to surround me. Although strangers, they have created temporary fellowship. With smiles broad, there is the ringing of exuberance, the echo of rejoice deafening, drowning any chance of thought. As my gaze shifts and slides, it becomes locked into what should be called a trance when our eyes begin to speak. The instruments of those that have become joyous fools for the moment have all been but silenced. And all I can hear is the current of words that your soul has projected and they flow to me as a stream does to a basin. They tell me that your time here is at an end, and you shall seek to become akin to that of a pilgrim, searching for a new rock upon to rest and so. As I have already come to understand through nothing but a dialogue that words would tirelessly attempt to provide meaning, you have made your decision, and you are now set in mind to take your leave without so much as a hugging embrace of farewell to secure the anchor that is the bond between our kindred spirits. I bid bon voyage, like a loved one to a sailor who has begun to depart from port. Farewell, young traveler. May swift winds carry you upon vast seas. May you find peace in your journey that is within thine own heart. Hoping that the memories of past may guide thee in life, as the polaris does for privateers on voyage. Careful of the sirens, their songs are their nets. Mind the goals, sometimes the greatest guides come in the most unlikely form. And to keep a weather eye for the torch that cuts through the night, 
as a single flame can chart a voyage's end in a sudden crash if ignored, or that a pilgrimage has been fully sailed leading to new uncertainties in the distance. With farewell and counsel given in but a moment of what seems hours, you turn and depart to set your own sail, to begin a life renewed. And as I resurface from the depths of the words unspoken, once again in the company of strangers. <laughs>